Welcome back to Bobby Fishing Daily. Let's see if I can get a short, quick film. I don't have a minute to fish. Chatterbait the grass, saw grass. Seems to be working pretty good. A little bit rocky, mate. Chatterbait. I had a boot tail on here, as you'll see before. Um, and they kept just grabbing that boot. I had a, uh, oh, he's four or five pounds. He got them all the way up to the boat. He would not turn that boot loose, but he never had the hook in his mouth. And once he got to the top of the water and realized that he could open his mouth, he got away from it grabbing it. But that's why I switched up and put a split tail on. Shorten those profiles so maybe they won't. Maybe they won't do it, but I did catch a redfish when I changed it like this.
caught most of my stuff this morning on a worm, trick worm. I didn't switch to this until I got here to the bay, which has been, I'll uh, say, an hour ago. But I've done put two in the boat with this, so overall it's been all right. I don't care to throw spinner baits, I'd rather throw chatter bait. To me, they're more efficient. Oh, I gotta make sure really somebody ain't called. Okay. We're still filming. If somebody calls, it automatically kicks the camera off. So that's why I don't like to use my phone.
boat traffic today. It's like one raft to another. Like they're every hundred foot apart, just trucking in and out of this bay today. changing that bootleg to the split tail. Now I'm going from one to two foot to three or four foot call. I'm not quite sure that it will be in the strike zone. I was having better luck with the other boot. Jackfish. I don't know if y'all seen that, but that was good. I thought it was a big bass. Well, cracky. At least I had some action for you. I'm glad he got off because I don't really like handling him. This ain't even the main part of the freaking river and we got a jet ski going to fly through here wide open. People are idiots. Drive a car, how they get required to drive that? <laughs> but I know some of should be. John boat back for that deal. Uh, they're in the middle. Little crop circle.
Well, that's it. I got to go pick up somebody from the boat ramp. Anyway, there's a short video. Just had some action. I don't know if I uh, got it. If the uh, if he shows in the picture, then I'll post this video. So, anyways, if you like the content, subscribe, share, like, do all the other good stuff. Um, I have some shirts that I don't have made. So, if anybody wants shirts, whatever hats, some stuff, whatnot, some stickers, I have some stickers being made. But, look at all this boat traffic. This is in and out. Such pretty water, though. In and out, in and out. There's actually a sunken barge right out there. It's right out there, just past this grass point, right on the other side of this little slough. Um, there's actually a sunken barge there that they sunk back in the um, historical days of this place. Um, back in the pirate ship days, I guess. Because there's three uh, Swedish uh, ships sunk out there. I have pictures of it. But they're sunk out in the bay just on the side of the interstate bridge right there. And then there's all kinds of barges and stuff that they sunk uh, back in the day. This used to be the main... Uh, river right here when I used to float logs uh, up and down the river here uh, right over there in the background there's a house back there there's an old dredge mill that used to be there um, the seawall is still there and then right around this point it's called the shell pile and there's an old sawmill there that's where the hell they used to float these logs through here and uh, you know, they used to tie them all together and walk on them and float the river but um there's all kinds of mess out here so they sunk back then whenever they come out with motors. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's enough history lesson. But uh, this is Bobby and Fish Daily. We're out. Peace.